Since the very beginning, the universe has always had ways of balancing itself out. When darkness rises, the light grows to meet it. When the light shines too much, darkness grows to consume it. Empty your mind, listen to the universe, and it will give you everything you need. The White Lotus exists to make sure the world continues spinning, that no one nation or person becomes too powerful. For centuries, we have served in the shadows and kept our existence a secret. But after the Hundred Year War, we came to the decision that it was time to reveal ourselves to the public, openly protecting all people of every nation. That is why you are here. Our newest graduates who have passed our entrance tests and are ready to join our ranks in the Order's never-ending quest to maintain balance in the world. Isn't maintaining balance the Avatar's job? Maybe he should join. <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar is powerful, but only one man. Even he needed help defeating the Fire Lord. That's another reason why the Order of the White Lotus exists. To take on the challenges that no one person can handle themselves. I consider this order more than just a way to help the world. To me, every member of the White Lotus is family. That man next to you, he's your brother. That woman over there, she's your sister. Well, this is gonna make dating very awkward. Shh, be quiet. I will go to any lengths to protect my family. And I expect each of you to do the same. That means becoming the best agents you possibly can. Sleep well tonight, for tomorrow you shall be deployed on your first missions. Yes, yes Master Jai Lao. Guys, great training slash. Uh, uh, I don't get it. How did you beat all three of us? Just because I can't bend doesn't mean I can't study the styles. We're going to be protecting people around the world, which means I need to be ready to fight benders of any shape and size. It was three on one. I thought this would be an easy win. Underestimating your opponent is the quickest way to lose. Hey, you over there. Hey there, new brother. What's shaking? Back at the opening ceremonies, what you said about the Avatar, you do know that he's ancient, right? Aang hasn't fought in years, and it's likely he's not going to be around much longer. You really should show more respect. Oh, well, I respect the Avatar, buddy. I actually owe him big time. See, back during Sozin's comment, the Fire Lord and his fleet had planned to burn the Earth Kingdom to the ground. My father's village was really close to where they started, and there was no time to evacuate. But the Avatar stopped them right before the fleet could get to it. Were it not for Aang. I probably wouldn't be here. That's why I decided to join the White Lotus, to protect people the same way Aang did for me, and to make sure another Ozai never rises to power again. And you repay him by making bad jokes. Oh no, the joke was to relieve tension. Everyone clearly needed it. They looked like they were trying to crush diamonds between their ass cheeks. Thank you for the imagery. How about you? Did you come here to be one of the best fighters ever and learn some awesome bending techniques? If I wanted to study fighting, I would have stayed home with my brother. No, the reason I'm here is to learn under Master Jai Bao. In addition to being a powerful warrior, he is also one of the world's foremost spiritual experts. He has spent his whole life studying the spirits, and has gained a vast amount of knowledge and wisdom that would have been lost to time. Ask him about the portal! Not now, I told you to be patient! Um... You okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> Just a little nervous. Uh, hope that being around others will help me clear my head. South Pole wasn't exactly a busy city. Well, let's go see Jai Bao. I got a question to ask him, too. Are you sure that's wise? He said we're like family to him. So what's wrong with asking your father figure for advice? I'm Zaheer, by the way. Unalok. Nice to meet you. Master Jai Bao, here you are. We have some questions. That is, if we're not intruding. You're not intruding at all. It's the elderly's job to help out the young ones who need wisdom. How may I be of service? Unalak wants to go first. What? Oh, you son of a... Oh. Well, uh, um, Master, uh, I was wondering, 
Do you know of any way to get into the spirit world? Not by meditation and mental projection, but to physically go into that realm. Hmm. Shit. I didn't think I'd be stumped so quickly. Wow, way to go. You broke our teacher. Hmm. Well, the spirit world is another plane of existence, separated by ethereal walls that have existed since time began. To meditate your consciousness into it is quite doable, but to actually traverse into that realm, it's unheard of. But the people theorize that the walls that separate us are a form of energy. And as we learned during Sozin's Comet, energy can be bent and manipulated. I assume you're referring to the Avatar and the Fire Lord's final battle. While it is possible to bend the energy of another being, you're talking about energy of the entire universe itself. To do that, you would need chi that has been building for millennia. And to do it without destroying yourself, your own spirit would have to be... Unbendable. Well, this was a waste of time. Back to plan A. I understand the need for exploration. But trust me, the spirit world is not to be treaded lightly. There are beings in there you can't begin to comprehend. Yeah, there's a giant centipede who lives in there and wants to rip your face off and wear it. Trust me, you're better off on this plane of existence. Oh, please. Ko's just a big old mama's boy, doing it for attention. And what of you, Zaheer? What answers do you seek from this old-timer? Just one. And it's going to determine the whole future of the White Lotus. Very well. Can we... ask the female members out? Are you serious? What? The whole sister thing got in my head and now I need to know what the rules are. Oh my Rava, we are so expelled. It's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> oh, today is just full of odd questions. Been a while since I've been this surprised. <laughs> Not sure of good laughter or bad laughter. Before I joined the Order, I spent years with the Air Acolytes, learning about the lost Airbender culture. And the monks considered all of humanity one big family, and welcomed love of all kind. So, if you see someone you love, you certainly don't need my permission to be with them. Yes, I knew it! Although be warned, most of the women who choose to join the Order didn't come here to be seduced. Careful who you use your pickup lines on. <laughs> hey, I love the kind of woman who can kick my ass. Uh, let's get out of here. Thank you for your insight, Master Jaibao. Uh, we appreciate your time and wisdom. Right. Now let's go get a meal. I think I saw that one girl from orientation go to the mess hall. Is getting laid the only thing on your mind? Hey, if I wanted to take a vow of chastity, I'd join the Church of Rava. I've got a good feeling about those two.